Well, Sean, for the first five frames, that was super impressive, and then it got pretty scary out there, didn't it? I think it just shows the standard, and obviously Jan's come here full of confidence, having won last week in Riga. Um, you know, from 5-0 to 5-3, I didn't feel like I did anything wrong at all. Um, I missed a middle distance red once he'd gone in off in the green pocket, and that was about it, really. And that just shows in snooker, you know, it can it can turn at a moment's notice. And um, then in the next frame, you know, he's he, I've knocked the black in off the green, off the cushion, it's gone in the middle pocket, leaves a free... You know, it just started going badly, badly wrong. But, you know, in the end, I was very pleased to see how I took my chance to get over the line. It can be a real stressful sport, this one, can't it? That match that you were involved in yesterday with Yuan Si Jun, that would have taken a few years off your life, I think, that one. Oh, listen, I mean, it's... Uh, it's just, it's just the way it is, and it's amazing the things that can happen on these snooker tables. You know, you just think you're in a real good position, a strong position, and then within half an hour, you know, the world's gone mad. It's just, uh, it's crazy. But, you know, I'm, I'm uh, 20 odd years into this career now. I've seen it all before, so I wasn't panicking, but as I say, I'm very relieved to get through. You said in your press conference yesterday that sport isn't just science, and you've kind of had to really kind of manage your life outside of snooker a bit, haven't you, to try and try and work things out. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're all human and uh, we've all got families and lives away from, you know, our sport, whatever your sport may be, whatever your career is. And it's about finding that balance. And um, yeah, last season was, you know, as we've said a number of times, you know, not great for me. Um, but that's gone now and I have to look forward. I can't do anything about that. That will always be a terrible year uh, in my yearbook. But uh, hopefully, you know, I'm going to make this year and all the ones after, you know, a lot better. You put it down as a terrible year, but that, that run in Scotland, you showed a flash of your best and you were walking around the table, swaggering around and, and it, the old Sean Murphy was back. Yeah, I mean, you know, I haven't forgotten how to do it. And, uh, you know, but for Mark Allen fluke in the pink in what turned out to be the last frame, who knows what might have happened. Can't let Mark forget about that. You know, he won that because of a fluke. If you're watching Mark, you were lucky to win that match. But uh, in all seriousness, you know, last year, there was just a couple of moments of, you know, really good stuff, which I guess has given me that sort of spur to work hard through the off-season this year because, as I say, I haven't forgotten how to play. But... Um, you know, those winning habits can soon be replaced with losing habits if you let them. Just focusing on your two Chinese opponents here, Yuan Sijun, Yan Bing Tao, both flourishing in the game. Yan Bing Tao, of course, winning his first ranking title in Riga, which was a fantastic moment for him. It's great news, isn't it, for, for the Chinese game? Yeah, fantastic news and uh, great to see. You know, it's been coming for a long, long time. We all get asked uh, back in our clubs and where we practice, you know, when's this the Chinese influx going to happen? When are they going to take over? Well, I think, you know, it's 25% of the tour now or something like that are now Chinese players and you know there's there's many more behind the Ding Junwees and Wembos and Yambin Taos there's a lot more coming and um, it's up to us to keep them at bay it doesn't get any easier for you you've either got a former champion in Ricky Walden or a, a twice finalist uh, Neil Robertson last year's finalist yeah doesn't get any easier but it is one of the biggest tournaments in the game now this so you'd expect that um, you know each match could possibly be a final or a semi-final so each ball as it comes each match as it comes and yeah my overriding feeling is you know relief to still be here you've had some fantastic encounters with uh, with Neil over the years oh yes yeah, and great great matches I've been on the the wrong end of a few good hide-ins as well but seems uh, to always meet in the Masters yeah I know yeah we've had a couple of really good matches in the Masters but a class player you know but um, listen their match will be a tough one that'll be a good match for both of those players so I'm going to sit back relax and wait to see who comes through and just finally I don't know if it's sort of in the forefront of your mind or you're putting it to the back of your mind but there's a subplot here this week this is the last counting event in the race the Shanghai Masters uh, an event that you would be keen to to be at yeah absolutely the top 16 only um, you know I've been in the top 16 now for you know a good 15 16 seasons so uh, it's a mark of how poor last year was that I'm fighting for that place but I am fighting I'm in the fight um, you know, I can't can't do anything about it from the house. So it's good that I'm here and I'm in the ring fighting. Well done today, Sean. Good luck. Cheers. Thanks.